Yes, sir. What up, YouTube? Welcome to the Animation Cave. I'm Gil Rivera, and thank you for watching this video. This is another behind the scenes art video showing you the continued production of my art piece for Jawbreakers, one of my favorite indie comic books. Just wanted to give everybody a quick update. My family and I recently moved to Budapest for work, so expect a new look and background for the video from here on out. So as you can see, I'm adding details to Autumn here because she's the focus of the piece and she's in the foreground. So she grabs your attention automatically. I'm adding wrinkles to her clothing and texture to her gloves, boots, and accessories. Some of my favorite artists growing up were the original Image Founders because their art was so dynamic and exciting. Their comic books were like big summer blockbuster movies. Later, as I got older, I learned to appreciate some other artists who came before them, like Jack the King Kirby, who co-created most of the Marvel Universe with Stan Lee. His work ethic and output is still mind-blowing today. John Byrne, whose work on the X-Men with writer Chris Claremont were the stuff of legend. Check him out. Walt Simonson, an artist with a unique style who rose to fame working on Thor, The Fantastic Four, and X Factor, and many more. George Perez, whose detailed work fascinates me to this day. He would get so intricate with his details that I would look at his comic books for hours on end. and Jean Giraud, or better known as Mobius, the legendary French artist who worked on Blueberry, Arzac, and Airtight Garage. He also did storyboards and conceptual designs for films such as Alien, Tron, The Fifth Element, and The Abyss.
These are just a few of the artists who inspired me to want to better my artwork and to try to become a comic book artist when I was learning how to draw and growing up. There are many others who I'll mention and talk about in later videos and I look forward to sharing them with you. So finishing up you see that I'm darkening some of the lines and some of the areas where I'm going to spot my blacks which is just filling in uh, parts with black um, like the boots, the forearm gauntlets and some of the shadows and just continuing to add texture like on the bag and continue to add wrinkles here and there. So thank you for watching this video. What did you think? Please let me know in the comments. If you want to see more videos about cartoons, anime, and comic book art, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up button as well. It's a small click for you, but it really helps. Our next video is going to be a retrospective of Crying Freeman. So I hope you'll join us and thank you so much.